Hi there. My name is John Holden. I graduated from the University of Connecticut in 1992 with a bachelor's degree in ornamental horticulture. In 1993, I started Land Designs Unlimited. I design, install, and maintain landscapes for homeowners in Upper Fairfield County, Connecticut. Today, I'd like to share my passion with you. Hi folks, today I'd like to show you this beautiful cape in Trumbull, Connecticut that our company planted the foundation planting for last year. I thought it was going to be just a planting job, but it turned into more of a front yard makeover because my clients put this nice portico on the house, they ended up painting the front porch, and they also had some tree work done to limb up and let some more light onto the property. Before I discuss the property more, I'd like to go ahead and show you the before picture of the landscape. When I initially talked to my clients about designing the landscape, some of the criteria were they wanted to keep the existing large trees on the property, they wanted some summer color, the landscape before didn't really have many shrubs that provided summer interest in the landscape, they wanted a low maintenance landscape, and the most important aspect of the landscape was to work in a plant called a limelight hydrangea. And I'm happy to say we are able to meet and exceed all those goals. When I'm designing a landscape, I like to start with what I know and then work towards what I don't know. Now in this landscape, there were a couple of dwarf Alberta spruces on either side of the front steps there, which were looking a little bit tired. So I knew I wanted to replace those with a nice evergreen. So the first thing I did was figure out what type of evergreen to use on either side of the steps. Now the next space that concerned me was to the left of the front porch, there's about a foot and a half of dead space between the porch and the edge of the stone wall. So I thought about what I would do to fill in that space as well. And then I just basically worked my way through the landscape, working from what I know to what I need to figure out. As I mentioned before, I framed the front steps with these common boxwood on either side of the front door. It's a very compact shrub. It's not gonna overgrow its space, but it's gonna give a nice backdrop, evergreen backdrop through the winter. Now part of the problem with this landscape was that the grade dropped off very quickly from the front deck. So what we ended up doing was pulling the beds out farther and then bringing in some more soil so we could make that grade taper down a little more slowly. Now over by my left foot here, this is called a Roseanne geranium, which is a beautiful perennial geranium. It's gonna bloom all summer. Now because we have a very large beech tree overhead, this is a very hot, dry space and there actually used to be the old walkway for the house through here as well. So what I did is I worked in some catnip into the landscape here because it can tolerate that very hot, dry conditions and look nice with minimal care. Our homeowners were having some trouble with this space. It was always very dry. So what we ended up doing was our homeowner was quite handy and he built about a foot tall retaining wall here to raise the grade and then we went ahead and filled it with some really nice soil and these nice compact Tide Hill boxwood. These boxwood are going to stay small enough that they're never going to overtake the space, but they're going to be just enough to soften the look of this area. When I'm designing a landscape, I like to make it look nice, but also be easy to maintain. And one of the trademarks of my landscapes are nice flowing curves to the beds. You can see here we've got one very generous, flowing, easy to maintain curve through the garden. Now, we worked our limelight hydrangea into the back of the garden right here, which is going to give us that really nice summer color. And then to go along with the concept of having unity through the landscape, I did work some boxwoods into the back of this design. We have some nice spirea in the front of the limelight hydrangea, giving us some late spring, early summer color. And then this is a hydrangea arborescens, which they've just passed blooming. But that's going to do a great job adding interest through the summer. Once again, I'm landscape designer John Holden here in Trumbull, Connecticut. For more landscaping tips and tricks, please visit my blog at landdesigns.com. I look forward to seeing you again soon. <music>